Oh. Good morning, you guys. Happy quarantine. Okay guys, so quarantine style, <laughs> basically living our lives via FaceTime with moms and grandmas. Might have to be on there. Well, hopefully not right now. Well, I think you might be. Say hi, mom. Maybe I could like put makeup on first, thank you. Okay, That's she's upset about too. the makeup thing. <laughs> Russ That's made sweet. me be on it like this. Last night we listened to a two and a half hour podcast about all the conspiracies. We kind of went down the rabbit hole. They're like putting the satellite into space and basically it's going to have control over us. Tracking everything that we're saying and doing. They're watching us. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Today we're gonna to take you guys through a day in the life quarantine style. So of course, lots of what we eat throughout the day. Right. We're also gonna show you just how we like to have fun and stay fit at home. Yep. How we stay grounded and centered and I don't know, enjoy this spring weather. There's something about the way that you understand. We don't need a rush and we don't need to make no plans. Say, pace yourself, so it down. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to waste my days with no one else. I love how it feels. Killing time, you and I. Hours, minutes, days, and nights. Trading all of our deadlines for conversations over wine. Killing time, you and I In this moment, we're alive Infatuated with your eyes And the way they look at mine When we're killing time uh -uh. Uh -huh. So I'm sure that there are plenty of you at home Who are feeling just like us right now If you're wondering what could you be doing to make the most of this downtime? We have done so many different things, tried to keep ourselves super busy, but the most important thing is that we are furthering our creativity. So thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video because they have a plethora of online classes, anything and everything to further our curiosity, our creativity, and even our career. Aaron and I used to get only questions about health and wellness and like what to eat and how to work out. And now we're getting a lot of questions about how do you edit your photos for Instagram? Do you have presets? What program do you use to edit your videos? And it's been really helpful to use platforms again like Skillshare to be able to learn and teach ourselves so then we can in turn help others. So right now I'm actually editing some photos for my Instagram feed and I love using Lightroom. I wouldn't have had a single clue how to do it without Skillshare's help. So we teamed up with Skillshare to offer you guys two free months when you click the link below in our description. So be sure to check them out because there is no better time than now to get online and take affordable classes to, like I said, further whatever it is you're interested in learning more about and maybe even possibly make your hobby your career. Like I said, be sure to click the link in our description for your first two months free. Check it out and let us know what you're thinking you might want to be creating during this downtime. Steel cut instant oats. This is a cup. I'm going to mix a cup with about a cup and a half of soy milk. And then I'm going to mash some bananas in. Also going to put some chia seeds and maybe some frozen strawberries. So anyway, this is breakfast. Max and I will both have the oatmeal and mom's making our typical green smoothie. Yeah, no need to go into too many details on what's in this because we've shared it a thousand times on like every single what I eat in a day, but we'll link it below in the description because you guys are seriously gonna love it. If you've ever been disgusted by a green smoothie, this one will totally change your view of green smoothies, I promise. 
dancing. Look at that! <laughs> so I'm just making my post-workout protein shake really quick. It's super simple. All I do is one frozen banana, a scoop of plant protein, and one teaspoon of super greens. And Max and I are gonna eat another smoothie and some leftover oats from breakfast for lunch. And just a mom disclaimer, we do primarily use baby led weaning, but some days Max um, just doesn't eat enough, so we spoon feed him just to get him a little extra calories. I kind of think he likes it, and I do remember when I was a little girl, like I preferred for my mom to feed me. I just really liked it. <laughs> my lunch almost every single day with some of the oats. If I don't eat oats in the morning, I'll definitely eat them at lunch. But my smoothie that I make every single day is probably like seven or 800 calories. It's just bananas, strawberries, some protein, and a little bit of ashwagandha. We talked about ashwagandha a couple of videos ago and it is an adaptogen that I absolutely love. I think it helps me sleep and helps me be more calm. So anyway, love ashwagandha. Mom, what are you eating? A bowl full of berries. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> Maxie and I are taking a bit of fresh air. We're about to actually sit in the hammock and hopefully he'll take a nap because he is getting really fussy. Anyway, we're gonna hang out and chill for a little bit. Like I said, have a little boys time outside. Bo's hanging out here with us too and then we're all gonna go for a family walk. It is beautiful outside. Did you find a rock? Mm. <laughs> okay, so we just got home from our walk. Max fell asleep. I am really quick going to make some overnight oats either for later this afternoon or for tomorrow. And like I said, we've done this on our YouTube before, so I will link it below in the description. I fixed myself a snack in the meantime. So I'm gonna have banana with some raw almond butter and an orange. I have been majorly on an orange and citrus kick lately. Super high in vitamin C. And on that note, I've been listening to a really interesting podcast. This guy is talking about the virus. And he was saying this coronavirus, what it looks like is like a ball with little projectiles coming out of it. So when the virus enters the body, it's looking for host cells. So what it does with those projections is it looks for the receptor sites on our body's cells to glom on or to latch on. And he said that there are a lot of foods, a lot of supplements, a lot of superfoods that we can consume that contain antiviral uh, properties. So one example he gave was mushrooms. So you've heard of reishi and chaga and lion's mane, all of these adaptogenic and like super powerful mushrooms. Um, foods like garlic and onions have antiviral properties, even citrus. When you're consuming these superfoods or antiviral foods, then what happens is it kind of dulls those projections on the edges of this virus, so it makes it more difficult for them to latch on and harm our body's cells. So viruses are entering our body all the time. A lot of times we just don't exhibit any symptoms. If you have a normal or healthy immune system, then your body basically is doing what it's designed to do. So how can we lessen the effects of this virus if we do become exposed to it? Quite simply, just taking care of our bodies, learning to eat, move, rest our best and get back to the basics, create nourishing meals, take more downtime with our kiddos and our family and loved ones, and move your body and get outside in nature. Most importantly though, make sure you're consuming lots of clean foods, lots of antiviral foods. These are all gonna have beneficial effects on your immune system. Okay, I grew up playing catch like all day every day with my dad and then my little brother who was like four and a half years younger not quite old enough to catch like a full-blown like fastball from me but I would get so mad at him Yay. Dev I finally found someone to play catch with <laughs> I, I married also, the girl I that will to, play catch with me I too used to play catch with my dad and my brother <laughs> so anyway now we got Max out here early it is not football season but we are out here playing with the ball and it is glorious. I'm gonna go get Bo. <laughs> Favorite treat, V-Dog breath bones. And we don't mind either because it makes his 
his breath extra minty. The breath bomb. So now he's gonna go hide and eat his snack. <laughs> he's a little busy, bud. So it's dinner time. I've actually got a smoothie in the fridge that I forgot to finish earlier. And it wouldn't be dinner time without a little Friends. It's our favorite TV show. We watch Friends when we get ready for dinner and we play music and then we usually have a dance party after dinner and just try to keep spirits high, especially since we've been on lockdown. We've been trying to make things extra fun. Maybe you guys would get a clip of that. I'm making us a kale salad with some fresh colorful veggies on top and then I'm also fixing Max a quick avocado toast. I'm gonna sprinkle it with hemp seeds and olive oil just to get in those extra healthy fats for him. It's super calorie dense and he loves avocado toast because who doesn't? And sometimes I just start with a couple bites because you never know when he's gonna decide he wants to throw it all on the floor. So Look at that face. start small. Our dinner is our famous Indian red lentil stew that I absolutely love. We made that last night, so tonight we're gonna have that again and give Max obviously some of that with some rice and yeah, he's dying for his avocado toast. I'm almost done with my first bowl and Max is working on his. The lentil stew is packed full of healthy protein and iron, thanks to the red lentils. We've got the oranges, which are high in vitamin C. It helps with iron absorption. And then the rice is more protein and iron and avocado for healthy fat. <laughs> Okay, so today is actually Passover and it's a full moon. Oh man, you can see it. There, it's really low in the sky. Oh, wow. That's a big moon. We're gonna have to wait a little bit to see it better. Anyway, it's Holy Week. Today's Passover, full moon, coronavirus, crazy stuff going on. Mindfulness simply means a state of being conscious and aware of the present moment. It means being present when the other person speaks and to listen actively or to be present with our food when we eat. Okay, you guys, it is Saturday, it's the day before Easter, and our neighbors who live in the cul-de-sac up this way have twin boys, they're turning 18 tomorrow. So today, since tomorrow's gonna be rainy and crappy weather, and today's like 75, they're having all of their friends and family line up in a car parade down the street, and we're all gonna parade through the cul-de-sac. They invited everyone in the neighborhood, so we're gonna cruise by in our bus.
Stick it out like. beautiful magnolia it's just about done blooming it seems like just as quickly as it starts then it's done happy easter you guys so we obviously celebrated at home we just got done watching church on tv and now we are enjoying a very special treat for easter breakfast we're having some homemade carrot cake cupcakes god never forgets it We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.